welcome to day 23 of my 100 days of live. If you're new here, my name is Claudia and I'm the proud owner of Pink's Teas and Things. But on these social media streets, they call me the queen of direct to print. So I hope you guys enjoy as I'm printing up this really large order that I want to get out tomorrow morning. So come on along for the ride as we print tonight. So this is a late night printing session. So if you guys are up for it, let's do it. I'm also going to be live on Instagram and TikTok. So if you happen to see me looking across the screen or turning my head to the other side, I'm looking at the screens that are right next to you guys. And that's Instagram and TikTok. So let's go ahead and get them started. Hey, Chelsea, how are you? Hello, hello. Today is a late night printing session. <laughs> how are you, Chelsea? Hey, hey, hey. Hi, Instagram. Hey, TikTok. How are you? So we're doing a little late night printing. <laughs> this one should be going soon. Hey, Miss Crafty Creations. Hey, Melinda. Hey, girl. Hey, how are you? Hey, Nina. Hey, Gorman Graphics. How are you? Happy Thursday night. Yeah, right, Marissa? <laughs> Happy Thursday night. So I wanted to get this order printed because I want to be able to drop it off first thing in the morning. Um, I know that I'm going to be getting it in later. And so because it's a pretty large order, I want to get it done so it'll be ready to go. I know I'm coming in later tomorrow. So I figured, why not? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. You know, it's been, woo, SoCal. SoCal today was showing out. They showed up with... Uh, <laughs> almost 100 degree weather it was like 90 it was 93 degrees at 11 a.m so you want to talk about hot it was very hot today i was like you know i kind of want to just be like i mean son you know can you back back a little bit <laughs> hey dan b how are you hey bronze and bougie hello hello let me see here hey these teas and things how are you so I'm printing out some things here. Now why did, oh, okay, I'm like, why didn't that one get going? So I'm just gonna get my print set up really quickly. I'm gonna send a set of prints here to this printer. But yeah, this is my uh, second half of the day. <laughs> and so I said it's cool out, right? <laughs> so why not turn on <laughs> the conveyor dryer and all that good stuff? <laughs> Hello, hello, TikTok. How are you? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sports Mom Creations. How are you? Oops, I don't mean to. Hey, MB Heavy. Hello, hello. Mom of four. Laura, how are you? So let's get this here going. tomorrow so it's okay <laughs> hey how are you hey tiff tiff how are you so i thought well why not hop on while i'm doing this right 
Hey Kel, hey Jazzy J. Happy Thursday, welcome to day 23. First time here, oh my gosh, welcome. G Money, how are you? So this is Vanessa. Vanessa, are you here on TikTok? Because you ordered this while I was on TikTok one day. Hello, hello. Hey Tiff, hey Empress. Gang sheets, do you do them? Yes I do, Gorman, I certainly do. for tomorrow oh that's amazing keep it up keep it up because that thousand once it hits you are able to go live hey leanne thank you so much for following just stopping by thank you king i'm so sad the printer you have is discontinued i know but keep your eyes out for for it because you can find it locally it's, it's gonna take some digging but you can potentially find one so i want you to give up hope keep hope alive here Okay, let's make sure we have two that are going there. Yeah. There are not two. So let's see our on YouTube. Let's see here. Augustine. Hello, my wife and I recently purchased the Epson L1800 and we have not been able to get the white ink working properly. Hmm, interesting. Never since you purchased and they were unable to fix it. Wow, okay. So were you ever able, like when you first purchased the printer, did you get any white ink that was printed behind your color? Because if you had it and you lost it, that's different than never, like if you never had it. So I want to make sure I'm understanding. Because it may be like a clog. So give me a little bit more info. Never. Oh, wow. And so are they offering to replace that? Yikes. Yikes. Never any white ink. Are they offering to replace it? Oh, that's like not good at all. That means it was probably clogged before you got it. You see I'm coming right back over guys. Let me just get this print going. And once that's done, I'll send another key is written. Um, yeah, so are they not willing to? Hey, Jay Holmes, how are you? They did offer to repair it if we send it back. I would ask for either a print head change, but honestly, I'd probably ask for another one. Hey, Kimmy Star, how are you? Hey, Holy Spirit help. Hello, hello. Hey, Janetta. I love your videos. been so helpful. I am so glad to hear that, Todd. Toddy's Visions, I appreciate that. What do I offer? So I offer direct-to-film transfers. And so they're multicolor designs, such as this one here. So multicolor designs that you're actually able to apply to different material types. So whether that's 100% cotton, if it's polyester, um, wow, two months ago. Wow, okay, I'm gonna get back to that. One second, <laughs> I'm sorry. 
whether it is 100% cotton polyester, cotton poly blends, nylon, you name it. But the cool thing about it is all it requires is a heat press. And so if that's kind of where you're starting when it comes to either t-shirts or tote bags or you know whatever the case may be, the cool thing about Direct-to-Film is that you purchase them and all you have to do is press and you're ready to go. So that's what I offer. Now, let's see here. So you purchased two months ago. Wow, okay, that's interesting. And they are not willing to replace. I don't know that I would want to repair if it never, if you were never able to achieve white prints. That's probably a print head issue, number one. Um, that's just kind of right off the bat. One of the things that I'm thinking of, it, it definitely sounds like a print head issue. Um, I'm not sure that I would just let them replace the print head. I'm not sure if I would do that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's really odd. If you've never had white, that means your white lines are definitely somewhere you have a clog. If it's not, if it's not actually, you know, throwing down white ink over your colors. Um, that's really strange. So I would, yeah, that's what I would do. I would recommend that you reach out to them and just see if they can, if they're willing to swap. Um, but a lot of times it's the inventory. So it may be that they don't have any more L1800s. But either way, that's a no good. <laughs> that's no good in my book, especially, you know, with the fact that you've already paid for this machine and you're unable to use it. Two months, that's a very long time. Um, let's see. Hey, Northern, how are you? I love watching your journey. I love that. Hey, Thaxton. Hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a cute name. Wait, hold on. I want to read that name. Let me see. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, well, let me know. How can I help you? What size is the image in my hand? So the image that I was holding there, they typically range between 10 and a half and 11 inches wide. That's for Fuchsia Panther. I've placed my order. Yay! Thank you for supporting. I appreciate that. Do you provide different pricing for wholesale? So I don't do wholesale because I don't require you to have a license. However, I do offer bulk order shipping. And so, um, bulk order pricing, I'm sorry. Bulk order pricing, depending on the number of transfers that you're, you're ordering. So 50 and above, I order, I offer bulk order pricing, but it's on a tier system. So 50 to 99 is about 10% off. Um, your 100 to 149 is 15% off and so on and so forth. But yes, I do. Hey, Label Gold, how are you? Yes, absolutely. Let me know if you have any questions, G-Money. Hey, Bailey. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Apparel Design Hustle. Hello, hello. We never got to use it because we moved and when we filled the inks, it was when we noticed it. Wow. So here's the issue though. So they're offering you, hmm, they're offering you the opportunity to upgrade. Oops, okay, here we go. They're offering you the opportunity to upgrade. Here's the issue though. You are never able to use the printer that you currently have. And so, to say, okay, we'll offer you an upgrade for 2000 more, um, I don't know if I'd be willing to take that. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's my personal opinion, you know, unfortunately. So I don't know if I would take that deal per se. It's totally up to you, but I think first they need to figure out what's going on with the printer that you have now. Scrolling, can you speak about your products? What's the live about? So, as you saw in the title, we are printing a large order of direct-to-film transfers. And so, here's an example of what I'm printing. These are my printers here behind me, but the cool thing about direct-to-film is that you are able to pretty much press and go. <laughs> so, hey, trust God, trust God's timing. I'm glad you caught me live as well. Hey, Rosie. <laughs> hey Tina, how are you? You're welcome, Fuchsia. So if I happen to miss your comment, my apologies. My apologies. Thank you, Tisha, for the roses. Roses, roses, roses. I love it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. 
we haven't been able to start a business because of this. Yeah, I think it's actually a lot, um, for me, <laughs> customer service. <laughs> if you have not been able to use your printer since you've gotten it, at this point, you've been unable to recoup the cost of the printer. And so that's kind of my, my issue here. Hello there, I'm interested for sure. Absolutely, let me know if you have any questions. Hey, Rosalind. Day 23, day 23. Am I tired? I would say it's no different from, honestly, I've kind of worked the lives just into my, my regular day. So I would regularly be here. <laughs> You know, at the end of the day, because I know that I'm coming in later tomorrow. So there's order, there's a, this order in particular needs to go out tomorrow. So for those of you that don't know, I have ready-made transfers that I offer on the site. And then I also have customs that I offer. So if you have a logo that you want to get turned into a transfer, you have that opportunity. Finally caught you live. I know, Daniel, listen, I just responded to your comment. Was it today? I love that. I love your story and it's mine is actually pretty similar to yours. So I'm glad you were able to catch me live. I've been trying to switch the timings that I go live and a lot of that is because there's some of you that are only available in the morning. So you may never see me if I'm only going live at night. And then there's some of you that are on at night. So, so I'm trying to kind of hit, hit the breakfast, lunch, and dinner crowd if I can. So. Yeah, so that's one of the reasons why you'll kind of catch me at different times. Hey, Shanita, how are you? Hey, 80s baby Nikki. Is, is Vanessa? Is Vanessa here by any chance? Because Vanessa, this is your order. No, I do not. I actually have um, Epson 7890s. 
Hey Catherine, it's so good to see you on tonight. Do you still have your embroidery room set up? So I still have embroidery, I have my sewing machine, but remember it's a single needle, not the multi-needles. Um, my glitter, crickets, they're all in the other room. Yes, I certainly do. I have made an account and longing to see your prints. Okay, so let me get you access really quickly, okay? Just one second, let me apply the adhesive to this one and then I'll get you access. Let's see. Daniel, I'm Team Night Owl. Looking forward to the amazing success of your business in the year ahead. I printed 40 28 page booklets tonight. That's amazing. Actually, I was really, I was really, because you shared some of your story in your comment. And I was like, uh, I think I definitely have a very similar, <laughs> a similar story with how quickly, um, you know, my business kind of took a turn for into transfers, t-shirts to transfers. So let me just apply this adhesive really quickly. Just the D100 dryer and haven't figured out how to properly cure. Oh wow, okay. Oh my gosh, what did they not deliver your printer? <laughs> this is like, oh my gosh, Augustine, this is like, oh my goodness. I have a really quick question, please and thank you. What's the best size transfer for t-shirts? So it depends on what size your t-shirts are to answer your question, TK over on TikTok. It depends on what size your t-shirts are. So typically a 12 by 12 transfer is one where you can place artwork that can actually fit on you know your smaller sizes from small up to about an extra large sometimes it can actually also fit a 2x but it really depends on the artwork oh no i am like so sad to hear this i'm like oh my goodness so one of the things that you'll notice with the d100 just to answer your question about that, one of the things that you will notice is number one, you have to figure out your actual what your height, what the height of your heating element needs to be. You also need to know the speed of the belt. So let me give you access. call me Krista it's one to three business days and for customs it's five to seven business days hey David how are you David I just sent you a message um, a little bit earlier I responded to your email hey Marie how are you how are you doing David okay I'm lost how do I create an account okay so if you go to my website which is www.pinkstesandthings.com once you get there, you can actually look in the top right-hand corner. If you're on your phone, it's going to be in the drop-down menu on the right-hand side. And so you're going to click log in and then create an account. And then from there, once you just enter, all I need is a first name. I don't even need first and last. 
but a first name and email address and then I can get you access. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Thanks. You're very welcome. Absolutely. Um, lower to the lowest setting and when we first passed it through the powder was dry but was falling off of it. It didn't look glossy. So that, that's because it's a function. It's not just the height of the actual heating element. It's also the speed of your belt and what temperature setting you're on. But like for instance, today my settings are my normal settings, right? However, yesterday we had a lot of humidity. And so I had to run my dryer at a different speed um, until like, you know, because the weather, it was a different, it felt different in the room. So initially, because of the humidity, I had to turn on my dehumidifier and then I sometimes I have to play around with the speed of my belt and the actual heat setting that I have it on. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any questions though. Reply as well. Okay, okay, I'll get back to you then, David, with um with with my reply. Can't wait to order your amazing products. Thank you so much, Tisha. I appreciate it. Yeah, I definitely am just kind of like, yikes, that's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, because you want to be able to use your printer. So I don't know. I, I think I think there's a there's a way to do it. to me that like I, okay hold on and I have them I have monitors throughout my room so I have one on this side of the room I have a monitor over on this side of the room because this is where my curing um, conveyor belt is so yeah it's a lot of that hey thank you purpose chaser thank you for following okay now I said I sent you an email for me to verify but I didn't get an email okay double check your spam because you should get an email um, to verify your email address because if you don't get that even if I do give your account access you won't be able to log in yeah purpose chaser thank you hey John hi I fix tech how are you 
So let's see, how many of he risen? Let's take a crayon here. Let's see, he has risen one, two, okay, great. So that's the third one. Then I'm gonna send it over. Oh, the hot dog guy! I love him. He is too cute. So I've got only four. Four. Okay, it's four going here. Thank you for following, beautifully. How are you? I know for sublimation printing, the recommendation is 45 relative humidity or like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's actually very similar. It's very similar. 45 is really kind of like that sweet spot. <laughs> you know, can you, can you still produce even up to 60? Absolutely. But um, 45 is really that sweet spot. Yeah, it definitely is. But yeah, I, I think, um, gosh. But see, you really haven't been able to put any of it into practice because your printer isn't even working, which is why we gotta figure out the printer. The printer issue. Hey, beautiful, how are you? Beautiful, black, and lovely. Love the day. Hello, hello. So we're gonna print four here. What do I wanna send to this one here? Yeah, I'm kind of a late night crew tonight. <laughs> in though um just completed the design fee ready for next okay so um that design fee was just to remove the background and it also included color change as well so yeah yeah it was actually a really cool design i can't wait to see it in other colors late night working absolutely hey shanta how are you okay so that's not bad augustine that's not bad at all I am just trying to finish this one order um, so that tomorrow I can mail it first thing in the morning. And so then I got a little ambitious and I was like, well, 
I'm already printing one order, so maybe I'll finish this one as well and ship it off. <laughs> right now, we're doing really well with like our processing times. Do you buy rolls of DTF paper or single sheets? I use rolls, and so the cool thing about these printers is that I I can use I can change out to you know different sizes. So I can go from a 24, which is really like a 23.75 anyway a 24 inch um, 17 a 13 and then currently what I have on are 11.7 inch rolls and so I love these for like if I have an 11 by 17 which is pretty here I love the fact that these have these printers have automatic cutters I love that because when it comes time to actually pack the orders it's a lot easier they're all kind of you know correctly sized and and everything so i love i love i love working with the 11 <laughs> 11.7 inch rolls um unless there's a lot that i have to print and it's like multiples of the same image that's when i throw on like the 24 inch rolls so yeah but no i i can't apparently i heard that you can use paper with these but i don't even i don't know like to me that's it's so much easier just to use the roll Hey Lincoln, how are you? So, G Money, I'm not sure. Um, if you want to send me a message with the email that you signed up with, perhaps that will work. Margarita, that's awesome. Thank you. Send me a message with the email address that you used to actually create the account because you may need to reset. I don't know if. Maybe you're entering it, entering the password incorrectly, but I may have to send you a reset, um, a reset note. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. It may have gone to my spam, but I can always filter and, you know, search for it. Hello, Deborah. How are you? So, yeah, with each upgrade, I was looking for speed. So, that, that was really the reason why I upgraded the way that I did. Um, things just kind of started growing, and I couldn't keep up with the P800. So, like, little things, like the automatic cutter, I love it. And I know it seems like such a small feature, like it's an automatic cutter. I mean, what, what do you mean? No, those little things matter because on the P800, I would actually have to go and like cut as it's printing. Hope that you don't accidentally like adjust the film and possibly ruin, a, ruin the print behind it. So those little things really matter when you're trying to like shave time. Oh, those are really, really well. Oh, yeah. Set the rest of them there. 
Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Tease of Life, how are you? Are these for heat press? Yes, they are. So that's the really cool thing about direct to film is that you receive the prints, they're already done, and they're just ready to be pressed. Okay, I'm in. Yes, I was like, oh no, I wonder what, what it could be. Okay, great, I'm glad to hear that. And so the really cool thing about them is that they're ready to press. So really, if you're just starting out, all you need is a heat press. I went through, you know, buying the vinyl cutters, going through vinyl, I've also used sublimation, um, and what I realized is that I was outsourcing a lot of my multicolored prints. Nowadays, there's so many transfer options out there. You truly can start with just a heat press. So that's the cool thing about these. You press it and you're done. Your items can then go to your customers. Uh, let's see. It's like they say, work smarter, not harder. Yes, I kid you not. I'm looking to do DTF myself, just starting small for now. Absolutely, that's perfectly fine. I just, I never envisioned really going into transfers, so that wasn't the reason I purchased the P800. It was just, just got yours, oh, awesome. It was just one of those things where I was looking to kind of scale my t-shirt business, and as I started sharing the journey over on TikTok, <laughs> you know, it, it quickly transitioned into transfers. And so that's when I realized I wouldn't be able to keep up with the P800. Yeah. So you just got your heat press? Oh, cool. What kind of heat press did you get? Pink Lula. That's exciting. I Well, I can't show it to you right now, but you listen, I'll be live for the next, I said 100 days. I'll, it'll probably be more than that. But I will be on live every day. I have to show you the heat press that I started with. Oh, Hopefully you made a better decision heat press wise than I did. I purchased a little 9 by 12 from Amazon and I was like so excited, you know, just to have it. And then I quickly realized it was probably a little too small to start with. <laughs> Let's see, um, 15 by 15. Oh, that's amazing. I was going to say my biggest recommendation, number one, and this is advice I would have given myself and I had the opportunity to. Number one, invest in the largest heat press that your budget allows. You will thank yourself. Because I quickly realized the 9 by 12 just not efficient, unfortunately. So I would have to do multiple, multiple presses, especially if it was like a front, a back, a sleeve, you know. <laughs> it was a mess. So I'm glad to hear that you got 15 by 15. I say that's a really good size to start with. Really good size. And my second heat press was actually from Heat Press Station. Um, the auto open, I think it's a 16 by 20, but it's an auto open and pull out drawer. It was awesome. When we grow up, we want to be like you. You give us so much inspiration. No, be better than me. <laughs> you give us such inspiration daily. My sister and I have followed you from your start and we feel as if we can do this for real, for real. You can, that's why I share my story. And I said this, I don't know if this was on yesterday's live because now the lives are all kind of running together. But my biggest thing is I share my story because I know that it's possible. It is so possible to do this. <laughs> I'm no different from any of you that are watching me right now. No different. I kid you not. Hey, Grills, how are you? I don't have a secret formula. There's, you know, a lot of it is just showing up consistently and really investing in your business. So a lot of times, you know, People are really, they get excited when you get that big order, right? But initially, a lot of those <laughs> beginning profits, you're reinvesting into your business. So that was how I ended up with my second printer. I quickly realized like, hey, Rachel, how are you? I quickly realized that the more printers I had, the more I could actually produce per hour. And so I looked at it as yes, it was an upfront investment, but I'm now able to print more transfers and really kind of keep up and shave down the time, you know, my processing times. So it is, it's so possible. It's so possible. It is so possible. <laughs> and I'm not the only one that has done it. So 
you know, and I won't be the last. So yeah, let's see prints. Okay, let me show you. So like this is one of the designs. Here you go. Okay, so it's a multicolored print. That's one. another mama 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 design hey prills how are you doing yes yes east coast bedtime will wait for the next step absolutely good night david hey pretty diamond thank you thank you so much for following so yeah it, it's so possible it really is let's see d's hey pinks i sent you a message earlier today when you get a chance can you check it out? Can you send me a message um, either on Instagram if you're following me over there? Because I've cleared out my queue. So I may your message may have gone to my spam. What do you need? Flip it? What do you mean flip it? Flip it over so that you can see it? Yep, there's adhesive back there. He's a real director films. Yes, they are. Hey, G Money, are these on your website? They definitely are. Yes, yes. Send me, send me a message over there with the email address, and I, that way I can search for it and see if it's in my spam. Hey, Andrea, how are you? I'm good. I'm on the East Coast. I'll hang with you. I love it. <laughs> hey, when I, hey, when I go, how are you? Are those on your website? Yes, they are. So. They should be under mom transfer. So if you hover over the direct to film section on the website, if you hover over, you should see mom transfers. The first one, this one here, will definitely be under mom transfers for sure. Okay. And then the other mama, mama, mama I showed you is under, it's under mom transfers and it's also under uh, Valentine's Day. And then this one here, this is from our 4th of July collection. So you can kind of see all the collections when you hover over the direct to film ready things. And you can also type in the search mom and it'll pull up all of the mom transfers. Doing well and you, I'm doing well. I'm trying to finish up this order that I have. I want to be able to ship it off tomorrow morning. And yeah, so I thought, well, why not hop on live while I'm doing it? Hey, Shan, how are you? Is it true DTF machines need to be cleaned every day? Do you sell on Etsy your DTF prints? Margarita, I don't sell them on um, Etsy, but yes, that is true. I love my 15 by 15 swing away with pull out tray, but I keep glancing over at those fancy 16 by 20s. Just need more space. I completely understand that. The 9 by 12 was really, I mean, <laughs> I love it. I still have that heat press. I still have it. I will not get rid of it because it reminds me of like where it all started, right? So I, I, I have an attachment to that little, to that little heat press. <laughs> but yes, I, I definitely had to upgrade. But I let that heat press, you know, fund the upgrade. And so, you know, is it possible to do it with the 9x12? Absolutely. But what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, you want to be able to also think about your time. And so the time, the time I spent kind of double pressing front, back prints, I'll never forget the top plate to my heat press actually fell off in the middle of the night as I'm doing cheer shirts. And that was that final thing that made me say, oh, okay, I think it's time to upgrade. <laughs> hey, Graceful Prince, how are you? Um, so best place to get a hold of me. Well, uh, the best place where all my pricing is is on my website. So I have all of my prices for customs on the website. If you're interested in bulk order, you can definitely email me. And my email will be, if you look at any of my other lives, I have it all in the description. This one, I'll have to actually put in that information once the live ends. But I do have my email address there as well. So if you're if you want to know like if a design is a good candidate for direct to film or if you wanted to know more about the 
bulk order pricing that I offer, you can definitely email me there. You can also email me through the website, www.pinksteesandthings.com. You can send me a message through there as well. Thank you, working on new stuff now. Absolutely, not a problem. Yeah, either way, either way, you can, you can message me, either through the website or directly through my email. Hey, Mac, how are you? Hey, Kate Gomez, thank you for joining. I won't keep you guys too much longer, but I wanted to pop in for day 23, which I can't even believe. I've been having a lot of fun with this, though. It's really nice because sometimes, like for instance, if I weren't doing this challenge, right, I probably would have said, oh, it's too late to hop on live. I would have come up with some excuse. It's too late. No one would even watch. Like, are you kidding? You're going to be working alone. Or, and so I'd be here pretty much working by myself, probably singing or whatever. But it's so nice. It's really challenging me to kind of get out of my comfort zone and just, just push the live button. Whoever shows up was just meant to be there for the night. So I appreciate it. <laughs> which printers do you have and did you get them from McLeod or another company so I have 7890s all of my other ones yes that is where they came from however there's one that I converted myself which is why I say it's so possible to convert them as well <laughs> save yourself a lot of money <laughs> but yes I did so I went the P800 the um, 7880 and then I upgraded to the 7890s here and then this one that you can't see it's also a 7890 but this is the one I actually converted myself hey DSK scrubs how are you so at any rate I don't want to keep you guys hey diva hey diva like how are you okay great so I don't want to keep you. I want to make sure I answered the questions. Let's see, doing well. Okay, got that. Let me see. Hey, Chris, how are you? Happy Thursday. So I appreciate you guys so much for joining me for day 23 of my 100 days of going live on every platform. That includes TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. If you happen to be catching this on YouTube on a replay, hey replay family, I appreciate you for hanging out with us for day 23 and hopefully I'll see you on day 24. So bye guys, thank you. Have a good evening everyone. Thanks for hanging out.